Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is relating addition with subtraction. So our question is how, how are addition and subtraction uh, related? Okay, so I, I should have uh, clicked with that slide, but that's okay. Here we go. So complete the bar model to show the problem. Okay, so here we go. Um, I noticed our textbook didn't show pictures here, so that's okay. The soccer team has eight red balls. So here's uh, eight uh, red soccer balls and then seven yellow balls right here. How many soccer balls does the team have? Okay, so here it's basically we're adding eight plus seven. So let's count. So here's eight right here. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 15 soccer balls right there. Okay, easy enough, okay. And so here, let's try this again. So remember, we're relating uh, addition with subtraction. So the last uh, uh, slide we did eight plus uh, seven gave us 15. So here, uh, the soccer team has 15 um, uh, balls inside the soccer room, or locker room, sorry. <laughs> and the kids took the seven uh, yellow balls outside. So how many soccer balls are left? Okay, so if we take these guys out, See if I can take those dudes out right there. So if I take those guys out right here, then we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're left with the eight red balls in there. So there's going to be eight of them in there, okay? So remember uh, that this plus this gave us this right here. So there's going to be how many balls left inside? There's going to be eight uh, soccer balls left inside. So, so explain how the bar model shows the problems that are the same and how they're different. Okay. So addition shows the, the same related fact for differences or subtraction. Okay. Differences is a fancy name for subtraction. So addition. So here's eight plus seven equals 15. Okay, and they have the, um, and so when we did this, 15, and when we took away that 8 right there, it gave us that 7 right there, okay? So that's what that's talking about, okay? So we can use addition facts to remember what uh, differences are. Remember, differences is subtraction, so let's, let's reword that. We can use addition facts to remember subtraction facts, okay? So related facts have the same whole parts, okay? So 6 plus 7, do you know what 6 plus 7 is? How about 6 plus 6? 6 plus 6 is 12, so 6 plus 7, that's one more than 6 plus 6. So one more than 12 is going to be 13 right there, okay? So 6 plus 7 equals 13. So what we're going to do is re, uh, relate this addition fact with this subtraction fact, okay? Okay, so if the whole thing is 13, then uh, then 13 minus this guy will give us this guy right there. So 13 13 minus 7 will give us 6, or 13 minus 6 will give us this 5 right here. But here, they're giving us this 13 and 7 right here. I don't know if you can if you can see that. Let's see if I got, uh, do I have a, oh, heck, I don't have a hand. Maybe if I did this. This, can you see that? Okay. All right, so this plus this equals this, and then so, so this minus this should equal this right here. So 13 minus 7 is going to be 6 right there, okay? All right, so let's write the sum and differences for the related facts, okay? So what's 5 plus 5? Well, 5 plus 5 is 10. So 5 plus 1 less than that is going to be 1 less than 10, so it's going to be going to be 9, okay? So check this out. So if 5 plus 4 equals 9, then 9 minus this number is going to equal that number right there. It's going to equal 5. How about this? 7 plus, or 2 plus 7. 2 plus 7 equals 9, okay? So 9, 9 minus this number should equal that number, and that's how we're relating addition with subtraction. Okay, 3 plus 8 is 11 goes right here. So when we do 11 minus this number, 11 minus uh, 8 is going to give us 3, okay? 5 plus 8, okay, well look at the answer right there. Cheat, cheat, cheat. It's going to be this number right here. 5 plus 8 is 13. So 5 plus 8 is 13, okay? So um, uh, when we do 13 minus 5, it's going to give us that number 8. How about 1 plus 9? It's going to, I'm sorry, 1 plus 8 is going to be 9. So 9 minus 1 is going to be the other number, 1, okay? And then how about over here? 9 plus 9 is going to be, well, if I didn't even know that one, I'm looking right here, it's going to be this bigger number right here, 18. Okay, so 18 minus either this number or this number is going to be the other one. It's going to be 9. Okay, how about here? 8 plus 7. Well, 8 plus 8 is 16, so 8 plus 7 is 1 less than 16 or 15. 
it's kind of staring right at us right here. So 15 minus this number is going to be that number right there, okay? Okay, easy enough. 4 plus 7 is 11. So 11 minus one of those numbers is going to be the other one. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 minus one of those numbers is going to be the other number. Okay, pretty easy. All right. I don't know about you, but when I was raising my good boy, Trevor was his name. Uh, it still is his name. He's now 28, but um, we used to like watching Popeye. And so anyway, so hey, be nice to your awesome teachers. Okay, take care, you guys.